got another gentleman from uh, the California area, Napa Valley, and uh, he's going to tell you a little bit about his winery. He's also going to go around in between the wines. We're doing four wines tonight. Uh, the first wine we're going to be doing is a Sauvignon Blanc, a big fan of, uh, of all his wines. He's uh, got some nice consistency and they're, they're very outstanding wines. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Wayne, and uh, he's going to tell you a little bit about his winery. I really appreciate you coming, sir. Thank you. Uh, yep. Yep. I'm Wayne O'Connell, and the, uh, we're located in Napa Valley in California, and uh, one of the things that we've done differently than um, the most of the wineries is Ga Gabrielle's my wife, and Gabrielle and I are the winemakers. Most of the times, the uh, wineries in Napa will hire a winemaker and turn the winemaking over to them, and uh, we said, well, what happens if we don't like what they make? You know, we have a real problem there. So we have hired a consulting winemaker that has a chemistry and academic background, but it's our palate. So if you don't like it, it's my fault. And um, <laughs> well, thank you. It is excellent. And uh, with the Sauvignon Blanc, what I did is I left the fruit on the vine to get a little bit riper. Uh, the most typical um, style of a Sauvignon Blanc is that green grassy style. And I didn't want to just do another one of those, so I left the fruit on the vine, so there's more of the aroma of the fruit and taste of the fruit on the palate. And then um, I blend it with about 12% Simeon, and that's what gives it the finesse on the finish. So it's more of a French style, and I think it pairs better uh, with food and is really good for social drinking it is as well. Excellent. So it really is. I'm glad you're enjoying it. 12%. Yes. Okay. And the. Um, Started into, my grandfather planted his first vineyard in California, and he was Pietro, so it's Pietro Family Cellars, and uh, planted his first vineyard in California over 100 years ago. He had to stop for about 15, 20 years, it was called Prohibition, and then got back in the business again, and uh, I uh, decided that I was, he was the toughest boss I ever had, and I was getting off the ranch, and uh, when I graduated and uh, did that for a little while, and then I actually met Gabrielle in college, and here we are back again. But uh, I'd like to invite uh, you all, if you're coming out to California, to come visit us. And uh, there's a card up here on the table. Looks like this. It's got uh, the information on how to contact us. So I have a few photos about uh, the property. And uh, so if um, you grab one of those, if you're going to be, you know, coming out to California, and we also have a. Um, a little form like this which is uh, for our uh, email list so if you'd like to know what's happening at the winery just sign that up and give us your email we'd be happy to add you to the list and uh, uh, tell you more about what we're doing out there our overall winemaking style especially for the reds is smoothness on the palate and no bitter tannins on the finish and what we'll be doing is we'll be tasting four wines tonight. Uh, the first is our Sauvignon Blanc, which you have. And then we'll be going to the Chardonnay. And uh, following that, we'll have uh, the Pinot Noir. And then in, uh, Napa Valley Cabernet. Now, in Napa, the king grape is the Cabernet Sauvignon. It just has the ideal climate and soil conditions, uh, geology for Cabernet. And I like to get grapes, uh, not just from the estate, but from different appellations and different growing regions which are where the grapes really do well. And so our Pinot Noir is from Russian River Valley, and that's right on, on the coast. Most of the valleys in Napa run north-south, and the Russian River Valley is one of two or three that runs east-west, and it opens right out to the ocean which allows the fog to come in in the mornings and be burned off and the grapes really develop character with that temperature zone uh, difference and the, uh, the hot and the cold there. So, uh, and the soil's ideal, I believe, for Pinot Noir. So when we get there, we'll let you see what you think about that. The um, Sauvignon Blanc is from Napa Valley and uh, it's from um, a hillside hilltop vineyard up in Pope Valley so it's on the east side of the valley which tends to get colder at night 
and uh, very warm during the day. So it uh, on the hilltops, and uh, so that gives the uh, the Sauvignon Blanc a lot of temperature zone change for building character in those grapes as well. So enjoy. Thank you. And uh, be happy to uh, answer. You all mingle around and answer questions and talk about each of the wines as we pour them. And uh, but feel free to ask me questions, and I'll try to see if I can answer them.